Did you lose your IMEA? Don't know how to fix it? Well, I'll guide you. You should have seen my old videos on fixing invalid IMEA, but the limitation of that method was it will only be a temporary solution. While doing a factory reset, it will be gone. So let's fix it permanently. The requirements are MediaTek device, a micro USB cable, a PC running Windows operating system, and a MIUI Meta 3G tool with the CDC drivers. So, let's start. First of all, you need to disable driver signature enforcement so that we can install the required drivers. Follow the on screen instructions. It will take some time. It will take some time to start. I actually deleted some of the parts to make the video smoother. Now you have successfully disabled driver signature enforcement. Now open the device manager. Then Right click on your PC name and choose add legacy hardware. Click next and choose the advanced mode that is the second one. Click next again. Again next and choose have disk option. Now you have to choose the android cdc gadget drivers dot inf. Click on it and open it and click OK. Then choose next, again next. Install this driver software anyway. It will take some time. Now click finish and again do the same steps and choose the second driver file. That is cdcacm.inf click ok then choose the media tech option and then click next again select the install this type of software anyway click finish then close the device manager now install MAUI Meta 3G2 I already installed so I am opening it here it is. Now choose the USB COM and click on option select connect smartphone to meta mode. Then click on reconnect button. This will start blinking in red and green color. Now switch off your device and connect the USB cable. Connect it to your phone. When the device is connected successfully, the blinking will stop and the color changes to yellow. That's it. Now choose the IMEI download option. So you will get a new tab and there is only a single sim option. So you have to change the database files. I am choosing the database file of MT6582. You have to change it according to your device specification. Choose the file BLGPU blah blah blah. Open it. Then the dual sim tab will be there. Type the first 14 number of your IMEI. The last number is the checksum. It will appear automatically.
again do the same steps for seam 2. Now you have to click download the flash button. You will see the success message below. Then select upload from flash and close it. Then click on the disconnect button and close the tool. Now turn on your device. You will be able to see the IMA number there. If you are unable to see it, uh, use SP flash tool and choose the format option and again download the firmware. Then follow these procedures to write the IMEI. That's it. The number is there. So, I've been spending a lot of time making this video. Hit the like button if this video helped you in any way. And hit the subscribe button for more videos.